Can we just talk about the controversy around the book of Isaiah, please? Because what I was taught at university and what I now think, they're not the same. We need to talk about this. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, the vision of Isaiah, which he saw in the days of Isaiah, Yotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah, all these ancient Judean kings. So they lived, well, that meant that he would have started preaching, Isaiah would have, in the 740s. Now, if we go forward through the long, long book of Isaiah, we hear about another king, King Cyrus. He's a Persian king. He arose and conquered the Babylonian Empire, established the Persian Empire, in 539. So that's a good 200 years after King Uzziah in Judah. So it sounds as though Isaiah was preaching and having these visions for 200 years. So we've got some options for how we deal about this. The whole book is a book of prophetic visions, pretty much. So perhaps Isaiah from the 740s onward saw what would happen in 200 years' time, that a man called Cyrus would arise and destroy the Babylonian Empire and establish a Persian Empire and liberate the people of Israel who were deported in Babylon and let them all go back home and re-establish Israel, which is what happened. So perhaps Isaiah saw 200 years into the future this prophetic vision. Maybe that happened. Okay, maybe. Second thing, and this is what I was taught at uni, I was told to uni, oh, well, actually, this prophet Isaiah, he only wrote the first part of the book, and then another bloke wrote the middle part, and then another bloke wrote the final part. The bloke who wrote the final part was actually around when Cyrus was around. So it wasn't as though one man had a prophetic vision of what would happen 200 years in the future. There's a problem with what I was taught at uni, however. And this was brought home to me by an episode of a podcast, Naked Bible Podcast. I'll put the link in the description below. It was looking at the language of the book of Isaiah. And it was saying, well, throughout the entire long book of Isaiah, it's using old, old language. It's using words which became outdated, like the word for kingdom, the word for David. It used words. You know how language changes over 200 years? Well, I was saying the whole book is written in language that you'd really expect with the 740s, not the 540s. So the whole book is full of that ancient language. So what's the answer? Well, the answer is either Isaiah prophesied it all from 740s, saw it all, including the name of the man Cyrus, or he wrote the whole lot and people added bits they edited it and put wee bits in about Cyrus and everything, specific, making it specific prophetic information. Now, I personally think that that is what happened. That Isaiah, one man, wrote the whole great big long mass of book, and then later people just added bits in. while being open-minded to the fact that, yeah, maybe he did prophesy it all. But I think it was edited, probably, you know. So anyway, 
that's what the podcast episode was saying. So if you want to hear it all in detail, just click on that below and enjoy the book of Isaiah.